In this video, we will be learning how to add 3D models that can be viewed in augmented and virtual reality to your website on Wix. To get started, head over to your Wix account and click on create a new site. We would be looking at how to create a portfolio website as well as an online store and also add 3D models to them. Let's create a portfolio website. Let's select creative portfolio. Let's give the website a name. Let's begin with the template and I will just select this. So to make use of this template, let's click on edit this site. And now to add a SwiftXR app to your website, what you need to do is go over to the add app section. And when you click on that, search for the SwiftXR viewer. Click on add to site to get the application on your website. Click on agree and add. And now you should see the preview mode here for the SwiftXR viewer. What you then want to do is go over to settings, select the enable optional link. And in here, you should see a default cube generated. To change this, go over to manage app. And this would load up the SwiftXR viewer dashboard. Once you get here, go over to the SwiftXR app itself and let's create a quick SwiftXR project. In here, we would be creating a character based project. We would be using the Ready Player Me component. And for more information on how to use the Ready Player Me component, you can view our tutorials on that. So now that we have done that, we would publish. And now we have an interactive 3D model that could be used on our project website. So let's head back and in here, we would replace the default link with the newly generated link. There we go. And hit publish to see that effect. And now if we view site, you can see the 3D model come up instead of just a static image in here. And that's how to create interactive 3D content for your portfolio website. Next, we will look at creating an online store using Wix. So this time around, let's go over to our site and create a new site as well. In here, we will select the online store and let's select an online store here and click next. Let's give it a store name. Select next. And let's begin with a template. So we will just select and edit the accessory store over here and use that as our base template. To get started here, let's switch over to the products page. In the products page, we would edit one of the products to match with what we want. Go over to manage products, select manage products. So I would select one of the products here, go with this, then remove the main image. Click on add images. And I would add an image of our SwiftXR robotic arm and add that as our product here. Rename that product to robotic arm. And then hit save. So now we have a robotic arm product. To get a 3D model of this, we will then go over to add apps to install our SwiftXR viewer. Select add to site and that should install the SwiftXR viewer. 
Now that you have that installed, you should see a preview mode pop up here. And now to get our 3D model in here, go over to settings, select manage app. In here, we would need to create a 3D product entry to match our product. But to create a SwiftXR 3D model, go over to the SwiftXR hub and create a new project. So I would create a blank project Go over to files and I would import the robotic arm 3D model. And then drag into the canvas here. Go over to design dimensions and set the view height to 100. And now that we have this, click on publish. Now copy the SwiftXR link generated and select create 3D product entry. In here, we want to give our 3D product a name. Go over to the SwiftXR URL and paste the copied link. And go over to select product. And we would be selecting the robotic arm product here. Click on add. And once you've done that, select save. And now you should see a preview of the 3D object in here. So with that done, go back to your page itself, select the SwiftXR viewer here and add that to the page. And now if you click on publish and go over to view site, scroll down and look for that product, select it, and you should be able to see a 3D model of your product along with the image itself.